Paint primers are the foundation of every great paint job. Whether you're painting furniture or a driveway or leather, you need to apply a good quality primer first to ensure the best outcome for your project. When choosing paint primers, the decision always comes down to two major product brands, Kills VS Insert. These two are the most popular choices in the painting community, and every painter likes them for different reasons. Zinser is a thick and strong product. Therefore, it offers adequate surface coverage and bleed-through protection. These features also make it durable, making the paint job hold for longer. On the other hand, Kills is lighter than Zinser. Therefore, it's easier to stir and apply. That's why many beginner painters love it. It also has a more intense white color. Thus, it provides ample surface coverage. On the downside, Kills' thinner consistency means that you'll need to apply more coats than Zinser to achieve the perfect coverage. It also doesn't provide great bleed through protection. This is just a summary of the key things you need to know about Kills VS. Zinser, but let's dive deeper into the properties of each to help you understand them better. I'll compare all their physical and functional properties to help you make a more informed choice. What is Kills? Kills is a primer brand made by Mastercom Industries, a well-established company that makes surface coating products. Most of their products are water-based except their Kills Original Interior Primer, which is oil-based. Because their base or solvent is water, Kills products have a thin consistency. Therefore, they are easy to apply. What is Zinser? Zinser is a primer brand marketed by Rust Oleum, a well-known surface coating manufacturer in the world. When the manufacturers made it, they used different solvents to create different types of primers. Kills VS Sensor. We often consider several factors when scouting for paint primers. We choose primers with excellent stain blocking properties if we have a large patch that needs covering before painting. On the other hand, we will need a proper adhesive primer when we want the paint to stick to a sleek surface like glass or vinyl. Kills and Zinser's primers are excellent products ideal for different projects, both indoors and outdoors. Consistency. Consistency refers to how thick or heavy a primer is, and it is one of the most important things to consider during the purchase. The thickness of a product affects how easy or hard it will be to manipulate and apply the coating. Kills primers are thinner than Zinsers, hence they are easy to stir and apply. Accordingly, many beginners prefer it to Zinser, especially when working on their very first project. However, the thinness of Kills comes with a few drawbacks. Odor. All coating products have an odor. However, the strength of the smell is what determines how comfortable you'll be during the application process. Kills has a very distinctive foul odor compared to Zinser. So have a gas mask at the ready, you choose it. The fumes aren't toxic, but they are irritating all the same. Zinser products have an odor too, but it's not as strong as Kills's. Therefore, it is more comfortable to use during application. However, remember that this primer brand formulates their products using different bases, so their smell levels differ slightly. Adhesion. A primer's adhesion capability is one of its most crucial aspects. If the primer doesn't stick to the surface, it lowers the chances of your paint job lasting a long time. Both Kills and Zinser have excellent adhesion properties, but the latter is more powerful. It can adhere to surfaces perfectly, and you can get away with applying it without sanding. You may only need to sand if your project requires the strongest bond for success. Kills primer's adhesion isn't that strong, hence they require you to prepare the surface by sanding before applying them. Coverage and bleed through. One of the primary purposes of a primer is to cover the stains that you cannot wash off and prevent other stuff from coming off the surface and through the paint. Rust inhibition. When painting a metal surface or any surface with metallic components, you must apply a rust inhibitive primer to prevent the metal from corroding after painting. Both Kills and Zinser offer primer options with rust inhibitive additives, but I recommend Zinser. I recommend Zinser because they're marketed by Rustolium a brand known for producing rust prevention coatings and even products that you can apply directly over rust. Mold resistance. Both Kills and Zinser offer products infused with mold-resisting fungicides. After painting, they help keep your walls, furniture, and kitchen cabinets from irreparable mold damage. However, the difference comes in the way you use the two products. The Zinser products do a better job of killing mold and preventing them from growing in the future. However, the Kills products cannot prevent mold from growing back. Application. When working with a primer, it is customary to sand the surface to give it a little tooth to grip the product correctly. The case is the same with Kills and Zinser. But Zinser has more leeway. Zinser products are thick, powerful blend that will stick to most surfaces without sanding, except sleek surfaces. On the other hand, you must always scuff your surface before applying Kills primers to make your paint job last longer. Dry time. Dry time refers to the duration it takes the primer solvent to evaporate after applying it. Kills primes dry faster because they are water-based. 
and water doesn't take long to evaporate. On the other hand, since their products have varying drying times because of their different solvents, the shellac and water-based zinser products dry quicker than the oil-based ones, but they all dry slower than kills because they are thicker. Cost Generally, in terms of pricing, zinser products cost more than kills. So if you're on a budget, go for the latter. However, since both brands offer different primer varieties, it is common to find a specific kills primer that costs the same as a zinser product. Overview Kills and Zinser are the most popular primer brands on the market today. They perform similar functions and have almost identical properties. So differentiating them is challenging. I put together this extensive comparison between Kills vs. Zinser to help you know which is best for your project. Zinser primers are best if you want adequate bleed through protection because they are thick and durable. However, their thickness also makes them hard to stir. On the other hand, Kills products have a lighter consistency and offer adequate surface coverage but they don't provide good bleed-through protection. The Kills products are more budget-friendly than Zinsers, but not by a significant margin if you're looking at cost. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.